All right, moving right along. I am Jesse Lee Peterson, 888-775-3773. Jason out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Good morning, Jason. Welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, Jesse. How morning. you doing today? All is well, sir. Thanks for calling. Awesome. Enjoying the show. I just, I really wanted to just call and say thank you and that um, how much I admire you and the work that you're doing. I know a lot of times I don't agree with you, and we've had our discussions on the radio, but in the end, I, I know that you have a good heart, a godly heart, and that you're really helping a lot of people, um, and you have helped me in, in a lot of ways to see things clearly in some areas where things were unsure, but I appreciate it. If nothing else, I mean, you challenge us to think about how we believe and the way that we think, and I think that's always good, you know, yeah. to surround yourself with people that all think of like you. Uh, don't be afraid to have, you know, what you think or believe to be right um, challenge. So I, I appreciate you uh, for that, Jesse. You're welcome, Jason. Um, uh, I'm I'm glad that it's, it's helping some kind of way because otherwise it would be a waste of time on radio if you're not really helping people uh, to draw closer to God, to examine themselves. And you're right, we don't always have to agree, but there's nothing wrong with, ha- with having a, a good and honest dialogue about what's going on. Hey Amen. I do take to heart what you say, and I really think about it. I so challenge my way of thinking, because I know that I don't know everything, and I'm not always right. And uh, I always have opportunities to learn, so uh, that's one of the main reasons I enjoy listening to your show. Well, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. And just one quick question, though, for you, um, yes. if you could. And h- How do you know when you've truly forgiven somebody? Do you have, I mean, what's your test or your, how do you judge if you've truly forgiven somebody about something? That's a good, good question. The one thing I do want to say before I get into what I experienced is that once you truly forgive, you will know. You will okay. know without a doubt. You would just know. The second thing that for me, once God caused me to forgive, started with my parents first, he took, he, he settled my mind um, and gave me peace of mind so that when I'm tempted by the tempter to think on certain things or to remember the past or to think about the future, I don't. It prevents me from getting into that, and it causes me to live right now with him, right in this present moment. And even if I forget that and look like I'm slipping into the future or the past by listening to a thought, um, I'm so aware of it now that because of God that I don't have to go that route. So my mind is at peace. My heart is at peace. And secondly, um, as of this day, this has happened over 28 years ago, when people say bad things about me or when people lie on me or if they don't forgive me for the mistakes I made or, or if they should talk about me behind my back or they turn on me, I'm not moved by that anymore at all. I, if anything, I feel compassion for them because it shows that they have not forgiven. They have no love because when you have love, you treat people with love. You don't turn on them. You don't gossip. You don't backstab. You, you know, you just have love. You have compassion because you understand what's driving the person. So I hold no grudges or mm-hmm. grudge against anyone, and I don't take anything personal. And it just doesn't bother me anymore. And prior to forgiveness, all those things would bother me. Okay. That's a lot to um, chew on. I'm going to soak that in. I guess my only follow-up question would be, so, like, let's say there's a person that really hurts you bad in your life, and, I mean, you're to the point where, you you know, you can hang around them and you can be friendly and you don't, you know, you're not wishing bad things on them, but maybe when you get those thoughts, like what they did to you, um, you begin to feel some type of emotion or, you know, discouragement about it. Would that mean you think you really haven't truly forgiven them or because it shouldn't just move you at all any longer. Right. In all honesty, if that person or those, that person did something really bad to you, but you have truly forgiven them, meaning that God has caused you to forgive, then when you're around them, you would never remember it. It couldn't get into your mind. Now, Satan would come and try to make you remember it, 
but it would be so unimportant to you that it's like it never happened. It was like Satan was trying to make you believe a lie. He's trying to make you believe something that did not happen. But the one thing about true forgiveness, the forgiveness that God— See, unforgiveness is a spirit, an evil spirit that make a home in you. It's a judgmental spirit. And so when you're around people who violated your life, you are judging them for it, right? But once mm-hmm. you truly forgive, God take that spirit away from you so it's no longer part of your mind and body and soul. So when you're around mm-hmm. the person who hurt you in the past, it's, it's like it never happened. You don't feel it. You're not emotional about it. You don't even think about it at all. It's, not a, it's as though it never happened. Okay. I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. I, I mean, I guess from my own experience, there's things I feel like I forgive my mother for and other people that, you know, I try not to think about it, but when I do, I still kind of feel like, you know, I wish that wouldn't have happened or I wish I wouldn't have had to experience that. I mean, I understand why it happened and, you know, it's, you know, a spiritual battle and spirit behind it and I you don't know, try to hold a grudge against the person, but I guess it does still sometimes, uh, I guess, bother me or make me wish those things didn't happen. So and that's I appreciate this. Well, that's because you have not forgiven, meaning that okay. because when you forgive, you forget. And so okay. uh, what what needs to happen is when you feel that way, you need to relax in the feeling, meaning don't put up mm-hmm. any resistance against it so God can take that identity away from you. He just wants you to see that you still have it, but don't okay. judge it, don't be mad about it, and he'll come and remove that spirit away from you and then you will live in a forgiven mode. You will, your life, you already forgiven before it even happened. Okay. Well, good. I appreciate that. Appreciate the, the word, Jesse. Yeah, you, you want, so just, you have a lot of noise in the background, so I'll speak fast. I'm sorry, somebody's going down the elevator. Okay. So you want to, you, when that comes up, don't deny it. Don't try to control it. Let yourself feel it. Don't get in conversation with it. And God wants you to see it. That's what it means to confess your sins. When you can see that you still have that, that's judgment. Mm-hmm. And, but don't do anything about it. Then God will be taken away from you. And then you, can, you will have his life, his way of living. And his way is, is to always forgive. He's already forgiven us before we even commit the crime. Right. And that's Amen. How you, that's good. Yeah, that's how you want to live. All right. I'm going to try. All right, buddy. Thank you, Jason. Do it. All Thanks. right. I just received a text from someone who heard the conversation with Jason and I about forgiveness. And he said, the way that I know that I have forgiven, and that I have forgiveness in my heart for someone is when I do not want any harm or bad things to bad things to happen upon that person. I do not necessarily forget what happened, but it is only a part of history, and it doesn't have a part in the future. Well, see, that's not true forgiveness, because when you truly forgive, you don't remember. You know how God sent Christ to sacrifice for us, and as a result, all of our sins were washed away and forgotten. So God doesn't remember our sins. So when he sees us every day, when he hears us trying to talk to him, he's not remembering what we did in the past. He's not thinking about it at all. It's not a part of his thinking. And likewise, if we are truly children of God, if we're truly children of God and we become his sons and daughters, then our Father has caused us to forgive in the same manner that he does and that he has taken away that spirit of unforgiveness, that thing that's made a home inside of you and caused you to do the things that you don't want to do. He takes that away from you and gives you his way of forgiveness, which is not to remember. And so if you still remember 
then you have not forgotten. You have not forgotten. You have not forgiven. If you still remember, you have not forget, forgiven. And if you have not forgiven, you will remember. I don't remember the stuff that I remember. Remember once this guy offended me. He said something that was stupid or did something. And whenever I saw him, it was as though it never happened. But I wasn't thinking that it was though it never happened. I just didn't think about the incident, whatever it was at the time. And so one day he came over to me and he said, you know what, Jesse? I really want to thank you, man. I'm so sorry for what I did. And I like the way that you act like it never happened. <laughs> I'm like, what happened? Because I'm telling you, folks, once you truly forgive, you do forget. It's as though it never happened. When I talk about the resentment that I have for my parents, my mother, uh, when, when, once I forgave them, once God caused me to forgive, because of yourself, you cannot forgive. But once he caused me to forgive them, when I was around my parents, I wasn't thinking about what they did in the past or what had happened to me. I had no mental or emotional feelings about it anymore. It was as though it never happened. And so even when I talk about it and write about it, it's almost as though I'm writing something that's not true. Because, and I know what it feels like to feel it and think about it and feel it because I, before that, whenever I would be around my parents, especially my mother, I would feel it. I would feel that anxiety and that fear, nervousness. I wouldn't be able to speak up and tell her the truth and things like that. But once God took the unforgiven spirit away from me and gave me the f forgiven spirit, which is his nature, I could be around my mother. I'm as comfortable around her as I am anyone else. So you do forget. So anytime anyone says they forgive, but they don't forget, they have not forgiven. They're lying. Now, they may think they have, but they're lying. Just as God doesn't remember our sins, we have no right, and it is impossible to remember the sins of others if we are children of God. Just a little FYI. And so when you're around someone that you think you have forgiven and you start to feel uncomfortable, be happy for that. Relax in it. Count it all joy because it is reminding you that you have not forgiven. But because when you do forgive, you don't feel anything. Now, the other person may be feeling uncomfortable around you, and they'll say, you made me feel this way, but you're not. That's in them. It's not your fault, all right? Forgiveness is something else where you truly, truly do. It's peace of mind. It's peace on earth. It's love. It's God's love in you. I'm telling you, folks, and only God can cause you to forgive others. He just wants you to recognize that you do resent others. You do have anger toward yourself or other people. And he will take it away. He doesn't want you to be mad about it anymore when you see it. He doesn't want you to try to change it because you can't. It's a spirit. He just wants you to repent by recognizing that you are an unforgiving, unforgiving person. And it doesn't matter how small it is. You might think, well, I don't really have. I just have a little bit. But even that little bit is keeping you from being born again, preventing you from being born again. And it keeps doubt and fear and stuff, and it can come out at any point. All right? But once God, let's think about it. It's a spirit that's made a home in you because you start to resent at an early age. And now this thing is grown in you. And it causes you to do the things you don't want to do. And the things you want to do, you can't. So God comes and he takes that away from you. It's no longer inside of you. How can you remember if it's no longer there? Just a little FYI. 888 77 Jesse, 